man. Thank you, Mr. Morley. Excellent. Exceeded only by the magnificent cuisine. Thank you, Your Highness. And I've never seen such a delightful family. Thank you, sir. Tell me, of what significance is the lettering on your jacket? It stands for the Future Pioneers of Outer Space Social and Athletic Club. Ah, it is obviously an object of great pride. The president heard the boys had won the school competition. And he asked them to sing Happy Birthday at his annual birthday ball. Plus another selection. And what have you chosen for the other selection? The Gypsy Love Song. Really? That is my favorite. Who will be the tenor for the solo? We're not having a soloist. No soloist? One big choir for all. Except Georgie Boyer. Senator Boyer's son? Uh, yes, sir. He said that if he couldn't sing the lead, he wouldn't join the chorus. And now, if you will excuse us. Oh, I know. Homework. I know. Bedtime. <laughs> I know you gentlemen want to talk together, so if you'll excuse me, I'll help Katie. Future pioneers of outer space, social and athletic club. She's quite marvelous. Huh? Miss Holstrom, she's quite marvelous with the children. Oh. Indeed she is. They adore her. And their father? It seems that affection for Miss Holstrom is not limited to future pioneers alone. <clears throat> but more champagne, Your Highness. No, thank you. your son, the young prince, sir. I regret he was away when I visited your country. He is with me now. Oh, I didn't know that. I'd have been delighted if he could have joined us tonight. He's just about Stephen's age, I understand. Yes. However, do not fret. As always, he would prefer to remain where he is. Oh? Well, I'm, I'm sure he's a fine young man. I think he would be a finer young man were he more like your son. I beg your pardon? If he knew a group of young men who band together in fraternity and song, if he could taste the freedom of a boy rather than the obligations of a prince. A man born to royalty should be deserving of his title. I think he would be better for his country and the world if once he could see Miss Holstrom smile, look of disapproval. If once he could see the pride the family takes in the achievements of your son, stability of home, warmth. Is that so impossible? Sir? You leave on a tour of the States tomorrow, do you not? We do. We'd be glad to have the young prince stay here with us if he's willing to give up his tour. I am honored, Mr. Morley. And I accept your kind offer for my son without hesitation. <laughs> Hail Prince Mahid, lion of the world, mountain of the faith, river of sustenance, valley of strength. Enter Prince Mahid, tiger of all nations, warrior of tribes, Conqueror of all he surveys, enter, O oh, powerful prince. I smashed them with the glasses. I fell and I smashed them. The invitation of the boy was your idea? Well, I... He seems like a very nice boy. Polite and... How do we handle a kid like that? I don't think we can talk about handling until we know what the boy's really like. So far, I know he has astigmatism, nausea, and weed fever. 
It's hardly fair to judge the boy on his weak points, Stephen. That's right. But what if these are his strong points? Well, there's only one way to be sure. Be free, please. Hello? Miss Holstrom? I see you read even before you are unpacked. Yes. My favorite book, Shoot. This is a book on the psychology of adolescence. Oh, it's very interesting. I would very much like to read it. Of course. You wish to talk with me, I presume? Yeah. Tell me, Mahi, you did not really want to come here, did you? I want to do anything I can to ensure the happiness of my father. That's very nice of you. Why? Well, you see, Miss Holmström, I was announced at birth to my father, just as I was announced to you. I am, among other things, Lion of the World. Tiger of all nations. Warrior of tribes. And Papa tried to make you into all these things. Papa, as you call him, tried for 12 years, and I have failed him. Perhaps you would not have failed him if Papa had not tried so hard. Perhaps. But you see, now I try harder than he. And I, I cannot understand it. The psychology book does not quite explain it to me as I really feel it. Well, maybe I can explain it to you. You? Yeah. What you mean to say is, you would like Papa to love you just as much as you love him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, my head. My head. <laughs> If Papa wants you to be like any other 12-year-old boy, this is a very good start. The compassionate person should do more than grieve for one who cries. For instance, to help someone who is frightened should draw upon his own experience of fear. Yeah. Yeah, what? You know, when I was a little girl on farm, I was very much afraid of farm animals. And the doctor came to the house one day and he said, you must go up to them and touch them and you will no longer be afraid. Oh, that's good psychology. Oh, well, of course, at that time we only paid one dollar for psychology from doctors. And we did not even know it was psychology. Neither did doctor. <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> now, first thing, you must tell me of your fear. You mean one of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember when I was very little, my father entered me in a race against my cousin. Race? Yes, on wheels. Oh, bicycles. Yes. I told him I could not hide, but he insisted it was a good way to learn. What happened? I fell from my bicycle. I never would remount. I fear of wheels. Psychology book says things like wheels are symbols of other things. Of what? Well, I don't know. But let's start by removing symbols. Yeah? Yeah. You are not afraid. Yes, I am. No, 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 no. You must think positive. Think positive? Now, well, friends, if you are warm, you must think cool. If you are afraid, you must think courage. Think courage? Yeah, think courage. Very well, but that's rationalization. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, my it cost me one dollar, and I'm cured. Now, think courage. As you wish. All right. Ready? Ready? Go. Go, my Good. Very good. Excellent. Are you all right? I suppose. It isn't any use, is it? Oh, we'll work it out. No. No, we won't. You're sure we will. No. The things I've always wanted to do, I never could. And the thing I can do is so valueless. What is that? You'd laugh. No, I would not. Well, I love to sing. Thing. 
I happen to be an excellent singer. An excellent singer? But whose father could be proud of a boy whose only talent is a beautiful, clear tenor? Mahid, how would you feel if you had a son and he sang the solo to your favorite song for the President of the United States? Why, I'd feel proud. Yeah? Well, wait till your father sees who's going to sing the solo of the Yipsy Love Song. The Yipsy Love Song? <laughs> Senator Boyer, Georgie. May we come in? Yeah, of course. I thought you might want Georgie to stay in the draft. It's the best way for him to catch laryngitis. Laryngitis? That will eliminate him from competing. Competing? We have heard Save that... Save your voice, Georgie. We have heard that there has been a reversal of policy within the future pioneers of outer space social and athletic club. Reversal? Is it true? Senator Boyer. George. Congressman. Is it true that there will be a soloist on the Gypsy Love Song at the President's Birthday Ball? Uh, well... I was told that... Save your voice, Georgie. Well? Well? Yeah, it's true. Then in true American tradition, I assume that the choice of soloists will be determined by democratic competition. Well? Well? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you a tenor? The Eiffel Tower of them all. Hmm? You're looking at the best. Do you know the Yipsy Love Song? Don't kid with me. I made it famous. Uh-huh, famous. Well, uh, I guess it's only fair. He has the right to audition. Oh, Senator, one favor, please. My heat is very shy. Would you allow them to audition separately so it does not cause the boy to freeze? Sure. We'll be back tomorrow. Georgie's a cinch. Oh, um, who's going to judge the competition? Why don't we leave that to uh, Katie? I suppose. Well, goodbye. Save your voice, Georgie. You do not mind, Mahid? No. It is only because it is the right way. If we give an opportunity to one, we must give it to all. It does not depress me. Good. I did not expect this reaction. I'm a fine singer, Katie. A remarkably fine singer. I'm equipped to compete. <laughs> Underbar, Mahid. Underbar. All right, now. You will all sing the verse as a choir. Then you will hum, and Mahid will solo the chorus. Are we ready? Sure. Good. I don't 
know what to say. What is it to say? George, he'll absolutely slaughter him tonight. I'm not sure I don't welcome Georgie's arrival. If Mahid ever sings to the president with that voice, we'll be at war with his country in the morning. This could destroy the child. Why couldn't he sing in the chorus? Yes. Maybe just mouth the words. Sing in the chorus. Well, maybe that would be enough for him. I can't. Why, Mahi? It is no disgrace to sing in chorus. It is if you already wrote to your father and informed him you would be the soloist. You informed him? Yes. Here is his reply. And never have I been so proud. Your loving father. Oh, please don't be sad, my heat. Even the psychology book has deserted me. Why? It states very clearly. Chapter 6, page 102. It states unequivocally that in this world we are judged solely on performance. This gives me an excellent opportunity to go home and hide. I shall inform my aide to appear here tonight for the voyage home. Good evening. Oh, good evening, Senator. Ready? Good. Georgie? Ready? Yeah, uh, save your voice, Georgie. All right, now, Georgie, you're going to sing the chorus alone. Good, good. Please, He's Senator. great. The boy's great. Stand up straight, Georgie. Uh, show him, boy. Show him. The group will sing the verse and I'm with you. Wait till you hear this tenor. It's so gorgeous, it frightens me. No. Are you ready with this gorgeous tenor? Sing, Georgie, sing. An excellent suggestion. Yeah, let us go. All right, all right, all right, let's go. <laughs> You will sing with confidence. You hear? Confidence. Where's Mahid? He's coming right there. Oh, Mahid. Mahid, what's wrong? Huh? There is nothing wrong, but I have to protect my throat. After all, I am singing tonight for... For the President of the United States. Good evening, Father. I did not expect to see you once in later. A humble prince should at least have the honor of escorting his celebrity offspring to the source of the occasion, my son. You are calling for me, father? I am. And my friends? And your friends. Thank you, father. Come. I'm glad you did that, sir. Tell me, Miss Holstrom, how did he ever get to sing the lead for the President of the United States? 
what's it, uh, I believe the American word for it is, uh, a frame up? Frame up? Oh, him, no, no. In this country, it is all done by open competition, Your Highness. But I've heard the boy around the palace. I instructed my staff to encourage his desire to sing, but his voice is awful, simply awful. Yeah, he sings no better than he did a month ago. But he sings much better than your de Boyer, much better. And while the psychology book says we are all judged on performance, it also says that all talents are comparative. Yes. You know, Miss Holstrom, I've never met a man who could not do something better than I. Or worse. No. <laughs> The farmer's daughter. You can't resist that gal. She's country style, but city design. Got a smile that's sprinkled with sunshine. Look at the farmer's daughter. She'll perk up your morale. Her brand of charm is so disarming. Brown, turn upside down. Yo, but that's too sweet. She's just what we've been meeting. So glad the farmer's daughter. 